Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter and welcome to a new particle effect tutorial today. And I wanted to create a cool looking breathing style effect that if you were in the winter or it was cold, you would see your breath. And we're going to look at using the Unity Particle Pack, which is absolutely free to having a base to doing this effect. And we'll create the look of the breathing effect, which I think is a nice particle. So stick with me. Check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything across game dev and check out over 165 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So first of all, you can navigate to the Unity Asset Store or finding this on the package manager and it's called the Unity Particle Pack for Unity 2019.4 and above and it has a bunch of really awesome particle effects whether it's magic, fire, water, weapons. So like I say you can get this from window, package manager and if you go to the package manager you can search in your assets and search for the Unity particle pack and download it. Now I wanted to start off with a smoke and steam effect and it's got a bunch of different materials and stuff but the prefab that we're looking for I want to use the smoke effect. So if I just drag that prefab into my scene, I'll get one that looks like this. So this is going to be the base of the breath effect. And then we're going to eventually make it look like the one that you can see down here. So with the smoke effect selected, you can keep the duration on 10 looping and pre warm. You can leave as default. You can set the start lifetime to 0.5 and one because we want it to last much less time. Then because it looks really fast, we're going to set the start speed to 0.1 and 0.2. And all of these are random between two constants. So we get a much slower particle effect. Then the start size can be between 0.2 and 0.3 as we're going to make it much, much smaller. Then we're going to have the start rotation at between 30 and 50. So we're going to have a much smaller amount of rotation, but just enough so it varies it as we do it. Keep the flip rotation at zero, the start color at nothing, the gravity multiplier at zero, the simulation speed. We're going to knock this down to 0.35, and then we're going to keep make sure that we have the simulation space on local because we'll want this to follow our character around. So if we had it on world, it would be affected when we walk around and it would look a bit strange, but local is local to the character that we're going to use. Then if we go to emission and we can look at the rate over time, and we're going to set this between two constant values, and that is going to be between a value of one and two. Then what I want to do is add a one burst and set the interval to a value of one. And already you can see the effect that we're starting to get because it just does the one interval with the one effect that we want to produce. And I've just placed it in front of my camera so sometimes you might just basically see it. So now we're gonna to move to the shape and we're going to make sure that this is on cone. We're gonna set the angle to zero because you can see where it's going to start emitting from. We're gonna set the radius down to 0.03, so it's got a much narrow radius to emit from. We're going to set the thickness to 0.5. You're going to keep the arc on 360, and we're going to set the scale on each of the X, Y, and Zs of the emission really, really small to 0.5. Then on the color over lifetime, that should already be enabled. We're going to leave it like this so it fades out across either side. So that's perfect for what we want. We're going to make sure that rotation over lifetime is still enabled and that's at minus 30 to positive 30. Then we're going to make sure that we've got noise on it and noise can have a strength of 0.05 just so that we have a little bit of extra jitter on the particles that we're going to use. Then we're going to use the texture sheet which needs to be on grid and five by five and it'll be the whole sheet and that will be based on the actual material that we use. So in this case, it's got smoke light as the example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that and call smoke light. And I'm just going to write an underscore there and call this breath cold, just as an example. Now we're going to go back on our smoke particle and we're going to add that into the renderer. So the breath cold that we're going to add there. I'm going to set the max particle size down to five just to make sure that we get everything nice and narrow. So now we're going to click back on the breath cold and what I want to do here is I want to make this completely white on the actual albedo color. Then what I want to do is I'm going to take down the opacity of this to about quarter of the way. 
something like that. And then if we go back on our smoke, you can start to see it there. Then if we go back on our object again and make sure emission is enabled, and I'm just going to set this all the way into a white value, then click back on the smoke again, and you can see it here, and we can see it much more prominently in the effect that we wanted. But just actually a pointer here is that I made an error so that start size needs to be 0 point, between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So we get a much bigger look of the particle because it looked a bit weird when it was so small. And what I'll do is I'll bring this closer to where my camera is, where my camera will be visible, as you can see it down here. And then one last thing to care to mention on our smoke effect is if we set the max particles down to a setting of one and we'll get much less particles emitted from it just to be more of a optimized particle effect. And again, what you can then do is you can parent this to your main camera. And then when you press play, you can walk around as you expect here. You can adjust the position. You can adjust where this would be. You can adjust the rotation, the scales of everything, the intervals that it appears, how quickly it appears for, and everything like that, just to get the idea of the effect that we want to create. So do let me know what you think of this tutorial and I'll put all of it on my Patreon for you to get access to. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything across game dev. Check out 165 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else but my Patreon and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store for all those great assets too. Big thanks to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Gene Pomney, Manos Berikas, Walter Dunson, Rene Leisure, Tofa Chambers, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getashank, Ishikawa Takuya, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Osame Abdul, Hoagland Nigan, Josh Huang, Thomas Lopez, Curry for Life Gaming, Aaron Lin, Professor Arnold, Sinu, Sunji Park, and Mercury27. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.